What is up everybody out there in Hero Cooks land? This once again is Scott Porter with another quick and dirty unboxing series for WizKids Hero Clicks. This time starring the one and only Mark of the Mouth, uh, Deadpool, and X-Force. So let's see if we got a box that has Deadpool on it. There you go. A little Deadpool and X-Force. Um, I am so excited about this series. Uh, we're gonna see some old school X-Force characters, hopefully some new school ones. Uh, the outside of the box tell us that, uh, you know, we're gonna be seeing some Mercs for Money. We're gonna be seeing some X-Statics. We're gonna be seeing some Squirrel Girl and her best friends, Chipmunk Hunk and the rest of them. So, uh, oh, there's Koi Boy on the outside there. You see a little dupe, a little dead girl. We got Colossus and Cannonball, Stingray. Slapstick, I mean, just from the outside of the box, this set already looks amazing, so I can't wait to get into it. The way this unboxing series works is I'll be opening two boosters a day, each day for a total of five days. And at the end of every video, this time around, I have a special, special, special treat. At the end of every video, every day. Can't wait to go to show you guys what I got up my sleeve. Uh, we had to break out all the stops for the Deadpool set. Um, you might be seeing only eight boosters up here. That's because uh, I couldn't help myself and uh, a little while back I opened up a couple of boosters and played with them draft style uh, on a hero click show called group hug um, It was awesome had a ton of fun all ten figures from those two boosters are in this particular box So I'm just gonna pour them out on the table and that's how we're gonna do today's unboxing I'll show you all the figures and then we'll get into the cards I'll show you fronts and backs make sure you guys can screen cap to your little heart's desires. Uh, real quick, want to have a shout out. Uh, there's a, a couple of good friends who are letting me use their studio right now. Uh, my good friends over at Hyper RPG. Check out their channel on Twitch. Check out their Twitter. Uh, and check out on Monday nights a new Hero Clicks playing show called Indomitable where they do role playing aspects with Hero Clicks. It's awesome. Make sure you guys tune in. Make sure you guys check it out. Uh, but without further ado, Let's just get right into Deadpool and X Force. Hero Click Set Unboxing. Let's go. Alright. Dump all these guys out here. Now, if you saw that episode of Group Hug, then you'll know who I pulled, but if you didn't, not to worry. I've got them all right here. Okay. <clears throat> who do we start out with? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, I mean, I think we gotta start out with the man himself. Uh, set figure number 1A. Ooh, 1A. So right off the bat, 1B, huh? We're going to have a 1B. Maybe that's going to be the, the common prime. Who knows? That's Deadpool right there. Hope you got a good look at him. He looks cool. <clears throat> okay. Then we've got, let's see, Chipmunk Hunk, who you saw on the outside of the box. Now, guys, don't worry too much about seeing... Uh, their first click and all the stats there uh, because I will be showing you the cards and with the new cards you can see all their stats on the back of the card I'll make sure I flip them over for you guys uh, we've got slapstick looking great with that hammer and slapstick is 21A so we've got a bunch of uh, A's already uh, as far as set numbers go hmm interesting we've got massacre little Deadpool core action there. We've got what looks like a generic mercenary. Generic mercenary, huh? Okay. Then we've got uh, five other figures from the other booster. Oh, some more new school uh, X-Force. We've got Bedlam. The real slick jacket. I don't know if you can tell how shiny this thing is. Looks like he's got on pleather. Uh, we've got Dead Girl, who is our first super rare, and also our first ecstatics piece. She looks really cool, kind of phasing through the wall there. We've got Wolverine and his X-Force. Get up. We've got Dr. Killebrew, and we've got Shikla. And I never know if I say that right, so whatevs. You guys can tell me if I'm wrong in the comments below. Okay, there we go. Now, let's get right into their cards. Oof, okay. 
Let's see, let's start out with the mercenary, the generic mercenary. Uh, he's got a trait called whoever pays the bills. When a mercenary would be KO'd by an attack, the attacker's controller rolls a d6 on a result of four to six. Mercenary is instead added to that player's force on click number three, and that player scores 35 victory points. I don't know how I feel about that, guys. I mean, if you put this dude on your force, your opponent KOs him, they roll a four to six uh, with, on their die roll, and they get to start using him against you. I don't know if I'll ever use him on a team. Uh, let's go with Massacre next. He's got Deadpool Core and Hero for Hire as his uh, teams for his themes. And uh, he's got a trait called Mercs for Money, which I'm guessing is going to be a shared trait in this set. Each time another friendly character with the Heroes for Hire keyword KOs an opposing character, he'll massacre one click. Okay. Uh, Ateke de Machete. Massacre can use Charge and Flurry. And it looks like he's got it for three clicks, which is really, really nice. As well as, uh, I don't know if that's support on his first click. So, there you go. All right. Moving on to Chipmunk Hunk. Chipmunk Hunk, where is he? There he is. Uh, Chipmunk Hunk, he is a very low point uh, value character. He's only 20 points. Uh, he's got a movement special power called Defeater of Punks and Other Junk. Chipmunk Hunk can use Leap, Climb, and Stealth. When he uses Leap, Climb after actions resolve, he can use Quake as a free action. And he's got a little perplex. So four clicks on that guy for 20 points. Not too shabby, actually. Way to go, Chipmunk Hunk, even though... Are those... Are those pants? Does he just have underwear on? Is this, I think they're part of his costume, but uh, I don't know. I thought this was a family show. Uh, we've got the Merc with the mouth himself, Deadpool. Man, he's got a lot of keywords. He's got Agency X, Deadpool Core, Six Pack. Oh, I hope we get way more, uh, way more Six Pack characters. Oh, that would be awesome. He's got Thunderbolts, Weapon X, and... Assassin. He's got a trait called Shifting Focus Deadpool. Okay. Uh, give Deadpool a free action if he began the turn on the map. Replace him with another character with this trait on the same click number. So I'm interested to see how many Deadpools we're going to get in this set. He's got two special powers one in the attack slot, one in the movement slot. The movement is called the first cut is the deepest. Deadpool can use Flurry, but can only make the second attack if he deals three or more damage during the first attack. And then he's got an attack special power called No Sharper Than a Serpent's Tooth, a sword. Uh, Deadpool can use Blades, Claws, Fangs. When he does, the minimum result for his D6 roll is his printed damage value. So can't do less than his printed damage value uh, when he has that special power, which for a couple of clicks of it, clicks of it is three, and the last couple is two. Uh, so he can use Flurry of Blades Claws on the, the back end of his dial, which is always deadly. Uh, plus he'll be shifting focus to other Deadpools. Uh, moving on to the second group here, uh, let's take a look at Shikla. Uh, Shikla has Deadpool Core, Legion of Monsters, Monster, Mystical, and Ruler. Okay, She's got two traits. One is called Ancient Succubus. Sheikla begins the game on click four. Okay, she's a wild dial. Sheikla can use steel energy. When she does, she may heal past her starting line. She has her second trait, protect my idiot husband, of course. Once per game, when a friendly character named Deadpool takes damage from an opponent's attack, after actions resolve, you may place Sheikla adjacent to him. If you do, you may remove an action token from her. All right, nice. And she has a special power in her movement slot called Monstrous Transformation. I'll show you the back of the card while I'm reading this. Monstrous Transformation. At the end of your turn, you may replace Shikla number 53 uh, with, num with Shikla number 53 on the same click number. So she's got a little bit of a shift as well if she wants to. So there you go. All right, man, she packs a punch. And she's only 80 uh, points. So if you can get her off that fourth click and start climbing with it, just like most of the uh, vampire type uh, characters in the Marvel Universe, she becomes super deadly. Dr. Killebrew is next, okay? A little Dr. Killebrew action. Uh, he's got two special powers, one in the attack slot, one in the damage slot. Uh, he's got Weapon X and Scientist. Uh, I'm going to just show you these special powers right there. You can go ahead and pause it and take a look at them. Uh, one of them is called Mutation Enhancement. It's a unique 
modifier, when an adjacent friendly character hits, if its attack value is higher than its printed value, increase the damage dealt to the to one hit target by one. Okay, all right. So if uh, you perplex something up, does he have perplex? Huh? He gets perplex, late redemption, a damage special power. Dr. Killebrew can use perplex, but only to increase combat values. Dr. Killebrew can use support, and when he does, replace his attack value with his target's attack value. Ooh, that's deadly. And he gets perplex, so it works hand in hand with his first special power. I'll show you the card one more time. Flip it over, there you go. Outwit, perplex. Uh, he's only 35 points, so pretty strong support character right there. Uh, we've got, let's see, four characters left. Four characters left. Now, I'm not gonna go through everybody's stuff. Uh, Bedlam, you know, he's got one trait. Opposing characters within range can't use the standard powers or combat value modifiers granted by equipped items. Uh, that's pretty simple. I'll show you the back of the card so you can see his dial. And once again, guys, just pause and transcribe all to your heart's delight. Throw them up on HC Realms, do whatever you gotta do. Uh, I am going to try and keep these moving a little bit though because I have special uh, special surprises at the end of each day's video. Okay, Slapstick. He's got Heroes for Hire, Initiative, and New Warriors. It's interest to me, interesting to me that they're using Heroes for Hire as the keyword uh, for Mercs for Money. He's got the Mercs for Money trait. Um, each time another friendly character with the Heroes for Hire keyword KOs an opposing character, heal Slapstick one click just like Massacre had. He's got a trait called Giant Hammer. Slapstick can use Giant Reach of two. Where is Slapstick? Where did he go? Oh, he's over here. Um, and then he's got a special attack power. I've got a bad case of Malatosis. <laughs> when an opposing character takes damage from Slapstick's attack, after actions resolved, the hit character cannot move during its next turn and is immediately given an action token. Wow, that is crazy. All right, guys. Is the back of his card and because of the new cards you guys can see the whole dial is really nice I mean seven clicks for 75 points uh, this set seems to have longer dials already than the last couple of sets did uh, which is really nice that means the guys you want to play with will stay on the board longer I'm a big fan of that speaking of longer dials this Wolverine has a nine click dial which is crazy uh, he's only 70 points and uh, he's got X-Force, X-Men, and Martial Artist. Okay, here you go, take a look at him. All right. Wolverine can use Regeneration as a free action. Give Wolverine a free action and roll a D6. One time this turn, he can use that result instead of rolling for Blades, Claws, Fangs, and Regeneration. Ooh, that's cool. So at the beginning of your turn, you can, as a free action, roll a six-sided die. If you roll a five, you can hold on to that until you want to use regeneration or blades cost fangs and just substitute that five in for one of his other die rolls. That is crazy. All right, last but not least, we have our first super rare. It is Dead Girl. Mm. And she came with an extra card here. So we'll have to break down what it does. I'll give you one last look at Dead Girl before I get into the card. Mm. There you go. She looks pretty neat. Phasing through the wall there, a bunch of skulls at the bottom of it. Okay. All right, let's see what this extra card is all about. She has a trait called Headlines. When Dead Girl hits one or more opposing characters, after actions resolve, give her a Headline token. Okay. Living Dead Girl, at the beginning of your turn, if Dead Girl has at least one Headline token, heal her one click. If Dead Girl has at least three Headline tokens, when she would be KO'd, instead turn her dial to click number three and remove all of the headline tokens. Okay, very cool. So, two traits that work hand in hand. I'm guessing all the ecstatics are gonna have this. By the way, she's got X-Force, ecstatics, celebrity, and mystical. Uh, but yeah, I'm guessing these are going to work hand in hand on each character. That's awesome what the headline tokens will actually get you with her. She can heal or she can avoid being KO'd. Awesome. She's got a special attack power called Tombstone Talons, Coffin Nails, uh, dead girl can use blades cause fangs until the end of your next turn. Characters hit by dead girl cannot use stop. A way around stop clicks. I like it a lot. So those are the 10 figures I pulled out of the first two boosters that I had. But I said I have a special surprise at the end of each of these daily videos. And today your special surprise happens to be a chase. That's right. Uh, we have a chase here. Just going to shift everybody back. 
This is the chase. And this chase happens to be <clears throat> Venom Pool. All right, so the first chase is a Deadpool core, kind of Deadpool variant, different universe variant. Uh, he looks great. He's got the little Deadpool insignia on his chest there, okay? All right, and he came with a really cool uh, Heroclix effects base. Um, so we'll have to see, Clix effects base, we'll have to see what it does. I don't know if you can see, but it looks like there's a comic panel on it. I don't know if you can see that. We will check that out in a second. All right, so uh, let's read what Venom Pool does. Okay, he's 80 points. He has Deadpool core. He has monster as keywords. He has a trait called, do you see the comic panels telling me what to do? At the beginning of your turn, if Venom Pool has no action tokens, you may attach a comic panel to him removing an already attached one. He can use the listed effect. Okay, so the listed effect here is a, oh, it gives him uh, a, a plus one lightning bolt. So it gives him an extra target at range. Um, he also has a trait called retcon expungifier gun. When an opposing character uses probability control, after actions resolve, that character cannot use probability control for the rest of the game. What? Are you? Crazy? Okay, so there you go. That's our first chase. Uh, that is the first surprise. Every day I will have some new surprise at the end of the video. Uh, today it happened to be Venom Pool. I hope you guys are excited for the set. I know I am incredibly excited for the set. Can't wait for the pre-release. Can't wait for the actual release in March. Uh, I hope you guys are super stoked. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today, and I will see you tomorrow. Until then, may all your roles be critical hits. Peace.